Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can replace the background of images and how you can extract hair. Alright, let's start. Okay guys, I'm going to start from the basic. I'm going to start with this image. And here, what I would like to do, I would like to remove this background. First, I'm going to zoom a little bit with a command or control zero. And then I'm going to expand this uh, interface. All right. Uh, what we can do here, we can use many different tools. But let me show you a few ones. In Photoshop 2020, the Adobe team, they create this new tool, the object selection tool, which is pretty cool. The only thing that you have to do is click and drag, and then you will be able to select, okay, the subject or select an object. You wait a few seconds, and then automatically Photoshop is going to select that object. Okay, and if you see, the result is pretty good. And then what I can do, if you don't want to delete the background, you can create a mask, okay? In that case, I have to go here to the Layers panel, and from the lowest part, I have to click on this icon to create a layer mask. Are going to happen. I'm going to increase the thumbnail here, the size. What will happen? This is going to mask this layer. That's why here you can see transparency. Checkers means transparency. But let's say you think here the border is not that good. In that case, we can go back and I'm going to go here to the object selection this part. Before you create the mask, okay, you can improve this selection okay in that case i'm going to click on this button double check you have any this or this tool selected the object selection tool the quick selection or the magic wand double check you have one of those tools selected and then go here to select a mask if you click here you will see this interface in this interface you have tools and different here controls that you can improve that selection First, you have to put this against a good background. If you see in this moment is the background you can change from here on the top right. And in this moment is with the onion skin. Can you see? And you can change from many different backgrounds. For example, I am going to select overlay. You see that background is pretty good to see the, the contrast. But I believe in this case the on white is going to be much better. Not quite now, but I'm going to close this and I'm going to increase the opacity all the way to the right. Oh, look at that. Now we can see a lot of contrast, okay, with the background and the subject. And then what I can do here, I can use the radius. This is going to be a edge detection. And here, if you increase maybe around, okay, for pixels, it's not that good but I'm gonna increase maybe halfway, and now it's way much better. You can see, let's say around 30 pixels, something like that. If you see, the result is way much better here, and the borders are pretty good, but I can still see a little of pixel there that I would like to get rid of. Oh, by the way, I, here I got the big, don't worry about that, we'll figure it out that part. What I'm going to do, I am going to use this slider here on the lowest part. Don't use smooth. Smooth is more for if you have, for example, product or something that is, for example, the beak. And the beak, we can use a smooth, but in this case, we have this feather. It's not good as smooth. Look at what happened if I increase the smooth. You can see it will smooth the border. Feather also is not a good one in this case, and we don't need contrast as well. We have enough contrast on the background. The thing that I'm going to use here is this slider, shift edge, and I'm going to move this one a little to the left, okay, to crop the... If I move to the right, look at what happened. If I move all the way to the left, you can see it will crop the last pixels on the, on the edges. Okay, this is like at the fringe. And I believe that looks nice. Okay, and then what I have to do, I am going to select the third tool. And here you have a plus and minus. The plus, what I can do, I can start painting and include more pixels. You can see I'm going to paint here on this area. Okay, and I'm going to continue painting. Okay, if I zoom in, I'm gonna select the Command Plus to zoom a little bit, because I would like to be more accurate. Okay, and then I can start painting here like that. Okay, and I'm gonna paint on this area. If you make a mistake like this, then what you have to do is go to the minus, and then you can start painting here outside to improve that area. I'm gonna select the plus again, and then I'm gonna start painting here. 
You see the hardness of the brush is too much. What you can do is click on this number 13 and you're gonna decrease the hardness, maybe halfway. Okay, and then I would like to apply here and you can see the edges of that brush. Uh, it's a little soft edges, not at all, but a little is much better than full hardness. You can see, and that is the result. That, that is what you can do to remove the background. Okay, and here on this area, you have the output settings. Okay, and you can output to a layer mask. Okay, automatically Photoshop is going to create a layer mask. Just click OK. And now you have the layer mask is there. And now let's say I would like to um, apply another background. I'm going to hide Photoshop. I'm going to go to my desktop. Then I'm going to open this background. Okay, and here I can select all with the selection tool. Or you can go here to the select all. I'm going here to the edit copy go to the other image and then select edit paste. You see something pretty basic. And the thing is the you can't see the eagle because look at the layers. What I have to do here, I have to drag down this layer, okay, beneath the other one, and you can see that is the result. Okay, and this is something that is not that difficult. Now I'm going to show you other image okay, or other thing that we can do. Let's say, for example, this image that I have here, I would like to replace this sky and I'm going to use, for example, this one just for fun. Let's see what we can do. I am going to open this image. Okay. And here I can use, of course, other tools. For example, from here, there is one that is the quick selection tool and the magic one and the obvious selection tool. What do we can do with here? The magic one, one of the things that is pretty cool, it will recognize colors, okay? And in this case, maybe I'm going to use the magic one, okay? Why? Because look at this. If I use, for example, the quick selection tool, if I try to start selecting here, you are going to select here outside. But what if you want to select inside the trees, okay? In that case, the quick selection tool is not that good. I'm going to deselect from the select menu, deselect. Then the object selection tool also is not that good to select here. In that case, I am going to use the magic one. It's one way to do it. There is another way. But with the magic one, first take a look to the tolerance, okay? And deselect this continuous because that will select just adjacent pixel. I mean, deselect this. Okay, because if you have this selected, if you click here, you are not selecting inside the columns here in that area. I'm gonna deselect first, select, deselect, and then uncheck this. Okay, and now I am going to click here, click, and you see it's selecting this area also, and also inside the trees. Then you can hold on the shift, and then you can select more areas, for example, those cloud, okay? And then I can start reviewing here. Oh, I have to select also here on the top part. Hold on the shift, okay, and click on that area. You can see everything is pretty good. It's selecting pretty much everything. But there is a, a few areas that is selecting inside. In that case, I can combine another selection tool. For example, the lasso. With the lasso tool, I can hold down the shift. I would like to select this guy, okay. Then I'm gonna go here to this area, everything okay. But now it's selecting here inside. Okay, in that case, I'm going to deselect this area. What I have to do, I have to use this mode, and with this one, I can select, for example, all these per of these guys here. Okay, and then I'm gonna select, for example, here, all the people that is here as well. You can see I'm subtracting from selection, okay, all these people that is here to do not select, because it's recognizing the same light blue color. Okay, and it's not the idea in this case. Pretty much everything is okay. I'm gonna deselect also this line. Here you can see everything okay. I'm gonna do that. I believe everything is pretty good. And then we can inverse the selection because the idea is to select the building, not the, not the, the sky. In that case, go to the select menu and select here inverse. All right, now you can see the ground and everything is selected. Okay, I have to select maybe a few little things there. And now I'm going here to the select a mask again. I can see this is the final result. I am going to zoom a little bit. Pretty much everything is okay. If you are going to place a blue sky, one thing that I can do, I'm going to select overlay. And with the overlay, I can select the color. I can click there. I'm gonna go to something like a light blue, maybe something like this, not that saturate, maybe that one. And you see the result is pretty cool. Maybe I can add a little of the edge detection with this, what 
I believe it's not that necessary because the result is very good. Okay, and then I'm going to click OK. And now I can create the mask from the lowest part of the layers panel. And now we have a mask. And then I'm going to hide this. I'm going to open the sky cloud. I'm going to select everything. I'm going to go here to the select menu, select all. I am going to edit copy, then go to the other image, command zero to fit everything. And then I'm going here to the edit paste. Okay, I'm going to click OK here, and you see that is the image, and I have to drag down to put on the position. You can see that is the idea, it looks pretty cool, it's a little fake, but it's the idea how you can replace background. All right, let's continue. Now, if you want to remove people, okay, and if you want to get rid of the background, there are a few images that are a little difficult. For example, look at this image here. If you see, I can select her, but the problem is the background. This part is too dark and it's too similar the hair with this one. For that required more time, and I am going to create another tutorial, another video that with very difficult images, how you can figure it out and how you can do. The idea of this tutorial is to do something more basic, okay, the way that you can change background, but then I'm going back to these kind of images. But let's take a look at another image, for example, this one, okay? All right, let's say you want to change the background or you want to isolate here, you want to change here in the background, let's say something like that. What we can do, again, I can select here in one of the tool. For example, let me show you the quick selection tool. I'm gonna select here the quick selection tool. And one of the things that I can do, I'm gonna click on the forehead on this part, I can start clicking and dragging, you can see, and you will select the entire person. Then I'm gonna click on the ponytail and the shirt on the hand. And you see this area is selected. In that case, what I can do, I can use the quick selection tool, but with a minus brush. Okay, and here I'm gonna click on this part and also here inside. All right, and then I'm going here to the select a mask. I'm gonna take a look how this looks like with full blue. Maybe I'm gonna zoom a little bit with the command plus. All right, and I would like to see, maybe I would like to improve that area a little bit. I can increase the radius, because the radius is pretty good for here. And then if you see that area is not that good, then you can click and drag, okay? But uh, you have to click and drag with the second brush. Okay? This one is to recalculate those areas. You can see I can start doing this, and Photoshop is trying to do a good job. Then, for example, in this area, I can select the third brush with a minus. In that case, I can get rid of those pixels that you don't need if you want to put another background. You can see, let's say I would like, for example, to recover this area with a plus. You can see this part of the share, because I would like to recover that. Okay, but on this white part now with a minus, you have to go back and forth with a plus and minus to recover something, okay? Also, you can switch with the Alt or the Option key on your keyboard, you can go back and forth. You can see that is the idea, okay? And then I'm gonna click OK, then I can create the mask. All right, let's continue. This is a little more difficult, this example, not to select, but to have a very good result if you see the hair. Let me show you. I am going to select with the Object Selection tool, I'm going to create a rectangle around her and you see automatically photoshop is going to select her okay that part is pretty good then i'm going here to the select a mask i'm going to zoom a little bit you see the border is not that good in that case i am going to increase the radius okay a little bit maybe a little more something like that okay and then also with the second tool i can start playing around in a few areas I'm gonna increase the size, okay? And this one is around maybe around 80 or something like that. And I can start painting in a few areas like this because you will see, okay, through those areas that you need a little of transparency, okay? And Photoshop is going to try to calculate those areas. You can see, and there is a lot of work here, but I am just trying to show you what is the idea of what you can do, you can see? probably in this area gonna take more time, okay? But this is the idea. And then look at this. And uh, here on this area, there is one thing that you can do is decontaminate colors. 
If I click there, what's going to happen? Photoshop is going to try to fill the borders with different colors. Can you see? If you see, this one is before and this is, is after. You can see that is the idea. Okay, and here you can see the amount. You can reduce a little bit if you think that is too much. And then this is going to be a new layer with a layer mask. Let me show you. I'm gonna click OK. All right, and this is a new layer with a layer mask. And Photoshop is preserving the original, because look at this. I am going to disactivate the mask. I look at what Photoshop is doing. It's filling with all this around. Okay, it's going to destroy the image somehow, the original. That's why I'm gonna click again on this one, do the shift key. Okay, that's why if I hide this one, then you can see this is the original, is not touching the original. That's why Photoshop is creating a second one. You can see, that is the idea how you can extract from the background in a very easy way, not that complicated, a little simple. Then in other videos, I'm going to show you with more complicated images. Okay. All right, guys, I hope you like this tutorial. Let me know in the comment, okay, if you want to see any other kind of images that I can retouch or create photo montage, okay, using Photoshop. All right, guys, I hope you like this video. See you on the next one. Bye.